clearly this was a blow to collective bargaining rights. Back in 2009, at the height of the recession, a couple of cash-strapped New Jersey towns forced public employees to take a leave of absence without pay, and perhaps more significantly, without negotiation. Their unions took to the courts, all the way up to the state Supreme Court. This week, the justices ruled in favor of the municipalities. Municipalities were going through uh, loss of uh, property values, tax appeals were going on, property tax appeals were going on, uh, revenue streams were drying up at the municipal level, um, caps were in place, budget caps, um, and costs were very uh, high. So with all that pressure going on all at the same time, uh, there was an extreme, extraordinary measure to do these furloughs, temporary furloughs. The court backed decisions made by local government officials in Belmar and Mount Laurel to force employees on unpaid leave, essentially temporary layoffs. And in Keyport, where two full-time employees dropped down to part-time. Union representatives say those are pay cuts, and they should have been determined through collective bargaining. If we can negotiate a contract, and then after that, the town can say, uh, well, we gave you this raise, but now you're not coming to work on Friday anymore because eh, it's financially exigent, then there's really no point in bargaining a contract. So we think that a, a decision this bad and made this callously very much undermines the ability of unions to negotiate and undermines contract law in the state of New Jersey. The State League of Municipalities, a friend of the court in the Keyport case, said rules were followed. It was done uh, through specific regulations that were set up at that time. By the way, those regulations have expired. Um, and the municipalities operated within the collective bargaining system, within the regulations set in place by the, the civil service system. And so I, I believe that the union shouldn't be upset about this and should not be overly concerned. Legal analysts say that this case, coupled with last month's state Supreme Court decision on public employee pension funding, shows the impact Governor Christie's had on the state Supreme Court. Um, what we're seeing is that the three appointments that he's made to the court are really determining policy in the state, and that's exactly what he wanted in terms of environmental law, in, in terms of affordable housing law, in terms of education. And I think that this is only the beginning in terms of that impact we'll be seeing it in New Jersey for a decade to come. While Christie's court appointments have a far-reaching impact, experts say the Keyport decision likely won't. The ruling issued by the justices is applicable only in times of extreme financial hardship. In Trenton, I'm Erin Delmore, NJTV News.